In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to get started using brushes in Adobe Illustrator. Now in this in this tutorial, I'm not gonna go into deep depth with the brush tools. There's a lot you can do with them. I just wanna show you a couple tricks to get started with them. So if you go over here to the left, you've got your brush tool preset. And I can click and hold, and you see that I've got two tools here available to me, the paintbrush tool and the blob brush. So just let me just start with the top tool, the paintbrush. Well, let me start with the blob brush tool because I don't think I'll need to spend as much time on it. I'm going to switch my color of my fill to green and I don't know, my stroke I'll change to orange. With the blob brush tool, what it will allow you to do is paint and it, all it does is really paints your uh, stroke color. And you see every time I click over a stroke, what it's actually doing is if I go to the selection tool, the black arrow, it actually makes all of that stuff into one big blob. It's a blob brush, okay? So you can get creative with that, and I've had a lot of students use this very, very effectively. If you know what you want to do, um, you can actually draw with this tool and kind of make a sort of like a Van Gogh effect where you have lines that um, work to give a lot of action to an object. If you change colors, it's going to make that a separate blob, okay, a separate shape or path. If you change the stroke weight, well, it doesn't do much at all either. It just kind of goes back to one point. So, so you can't really adjust the blob brush that way, but what you can do is actually double click right on the blob brush, double click it, and you can change the size right here. And you can change other things as well. Again, I wasn't going to get into all the the adjustments you can you can play around with with this, but if you want to experiment with this, double click on, right on the tool. Just double click right on the tool. Get this menu, change your size, change your settings, click OK, and now you see I'm painting thicker brush strokes. So that's one way you can actually illustrate your designs. You can start thick and get thin, or vice versa. Um, again, if you switch colors, it's going to make a different blob for you. You can kind of experiment with that and so now if I go to the selection tool you see I've got these blobs <laughs> and, and they're basically one shape which is nice and easy to handle but it also kind of can help you get textures let me go back to the regular paintbrush tool now so that's the blob brush tool I don't use it a lot to be honest with you again it kind of gives you uh, the option of making these nice Van Gogh effects the paintbrush tool is actually going to give you more options so if you go to the paintbrush tool and click and oh it's actually working sometimes when you first click it'll give you an error message if it does that oftentimes what it says is you, it cannot use the brush tool because a brush needs to be selected if you read the 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 warning what you'll need to do when using the brush tool you'll need to go to window brushes and actually open up the brush panel so go ahead and go window brushes this is my brush panel I'm just gonna pull over here to the right you see I've got what five or six brushes on the top and I've got about five brushes down here on the bottom so I can select any one of those brushes and now it's going to paint or make a brush that style okay so that's that brush here's this feathery brush there's even a novelty brush it looks like jeans like the edges of jeans now every time I I paint with this brush it's making a new shape so it's not like the blob brush it's, they're not all together these are all individual shapes I can select them hit the backspace key and delete them so these are just individual shapes individual paths okay so I can go in with this tool and I can actually paint that way if you want to do that that's fine and that is a good way to illustrate if you want more brushes by the way click the little flyout menu that's the four lines right here that brings out the flyout menu you can go down to open brush library and choose any brush library down here and you can choose more brushes so there's not just 10 or 12. you can also go to to the brush library click the little book icon in the bottom left of the brush library and you see I've got artistic I like artistic artistic ink I'm gonna start with that one now this brings out what's called a brush library this is not really a brush the brush panel you see as I click through these it actually adds to the brush panel so these are the brush panel that's kind of the brushes I've used 
this is just additional brushes that I can use if I want to. I can click on them and add them. I can click this right and left arrow and it'll go to a different brush library. So these are paint brushes. Here's scroll pen. Here's watercolor. Click a couple of those. And there's borders, decorative, frames, geometric, lines, novelty, primitive, and these are bristle brushes. These are banners and scales. These are scatter brushes. These are decorative. So it's got a whole bunch of different brush libraries. So you can experiment with these. If you click on these, any of these, click and drag, you see that it does different brushes. So it's kind of a neat effect. Now another way you can do this, if you already have an object illustrated or drawn, you drew it maybe with the pen tool or pencil tool, maybe not with the brush tool. What I'm going to do is just add a stroke. Brushes work on strokes, not on fills, but on strokes. So let me give this a blue stroke. Click on my object, my apple. I'll double click the, the stroke down at the bottom and I'm going to give it a blue stroke. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> I know you can do it. Okay, there it did. There it worked. It did work. So there's a blue stroke. It's pretty thin. I can make the stroke thicker. But now that I've added a stroke, I can also select my object and choose a brush. Now that's a scatter brush. Didn't work too well. But some of these brushes might work better than others. If this is not a blue fill, but maybe a blue stroke, maybe it's a red stroke, that might make a little bit more sense and just look more like a texture. So I can experiment with these brushes and kind of create some creative um, adjustments to my illustration. If the brush is really thick, like these splatter brushes, they're really abstract, really thick. They really don't work too well. Select your brush, choose your stroke weight, and make your stroke smaller. Um, 0.25 might work. You might even need to go smaller than that, like type in a zero, 0.025. See what that looks like. So now there's just a slight brush around the edge. Um, I'll turn off my fill so you can kind of see it. So now there's just a slight brush around the edge of that apple. And I can adjust them either way. So some of these might need to be thicker strokes. And some of them, if they're way too thick, it'll get very abstract on you. So if you don't see that, by the way, that's Windows Stroke. You can pop out that menu. That stroke menu is right here. And so you can experiment with the stroke in conjunction with the brush. And you can even apply that to a, an object that's already illustrated. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to get into the details of adjusting a brush. But if you want to experiment with it, you can go into the brush panel right here and actually double click on a brush. Double click any brush and a menu will pop up and this is where you can adjust some of the advanced settings for the brushes don't do this a lot to be honest with you there's very very rarely do i need to do this unless i need to control accuracy um which is sometimes necessary but it's really specific depending on what you want to do but you can experiment with these by actually clicking on the settings and checking preview and you kind of see what it's going to do so if you want to get into that there's you know you can experiment with that a little bit more but that's just a basic overview of what brushes are um, and how to get started there are a few different types of brushes of course as you could kind of see with the library um, the brushes we're using that I'm using right here are called art brushes you can actually double click it this says art brush um, these are art brushes these at the top are calligraphy brushes and there are novelty brushes um, and and scatter brushes as well so there's a few different types of this is actually a bristle brush excuse me bristle brushes and scatter brushes so you can again double click these and you can experiment with the settings if you want to experiment with getting into the technical aspect of these brushes. Otherwise, have fun with it. I think you'll like using brushes, and I hope this helps.